<laughs> all I remember is you walking out the door going, come for tea, come for tea. And we all running back to the house. As you was hungry. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to week 10 of Get On With It. This week I am outside the very first house that I moved to when I came to England in 2002, right behind me. But we'll get to that a little bit later. Today we've got uh, we've got some special guests as well joining me um, on this vlog. Uh, you might have seen in the intro, those are my siblings. But um, we're gonna get into that a little bit more. So when I was thinking about week 10 and I was thinking about what I want, want to do with, the, with this play, as you know, it is titled Coming to England, but it will have an even more, you know, a bigger subheading that uh, kind of encompasses the whole play. Um, that will most likely be coming in, by the time I get to week 15, I, I think I'll have it ironed out, but a theme that I want to focus on as well in coming to England is joy within suffering. So when I was in Zim and when we first came here, we suffered a lot of things that in the moment, really, I don't think we realized were suffering. It's only later on you realize, oh yeah, actually went through a hard time there, but we had so much joy. And some of those things I'm like, I think back now, I'm like, that is the experience of most people. I thought who better to talk about this stuff than with my siblings. So we had a chat about some of the moments we had in Zim and some of the moments we had when we first came here. And one of the moments was when we were in Zim and the parents were away and it was just me and my siblings. And then we realized we don't have any food. And this happened. To be honest, I think we, we used to have fun with anything. We used to just sit in the bedroom and I remember I had a drum kit, the kick pedal was my my shoe, oh. that is the high heel at the back. That's the thing yes. I'm eating the concrete floor. Oh, no. <laughs> so from that kind of background, on the day, because there was nothing, we yeah. literally ended up having tea every like 20, 30 minutes, if not an hour. Oh, so it ended up gosh. becoming a what? A song. Yeah. Come to tea, come to tea. Well, uh, I can't even remember the tune. Yeah. <laughs> will probably remember a lot more. But I, I suppose I was I became the song leader because I was making the teas. <laughs> what I remember most was that you hyped us up the, like at one time for us to get to the days. Like you were just like, guys, let's go. Why do you have a like, yeah. if you question enough, I thought, you can't, but we do have the day, 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 Razi yeah. is the hive guy for life. I'm telling you, you find yourself with nothing, you need that guy. I moved here in 2002 and I was nine years old. We moved into that one bed flat behind me, six of us with one bed. And it was probably one of the best times I've ever had. When you're a pastor's kid, there's certain things that you just, you just, you just don't get and that's autonomy that's privacy that's you know you just don't you just don't and that's not a, you know that's not always bad I, I actually think it's amazing I loved having lots of people around um, I felt weird when there wasn't people around if I'm honest with you I loved it I enjoyed it but when we came here you realize how much you didn't know each other as a family. We're like, oh my gosh, I don't know you. <laughs> all I remember is just being around people all the time. So for me, this place holds a special place in my heart because I got to really know my family. We had never actually lived together with no one else. And so, and then especially the fact that the year before we all came, we got split, you guys went to Rusabe. 
Uh, we stayed in Russia. Right? Horrible. And then, so now we're here, and we have all the time in the world because, hey, that was a long summer, man. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. True. There were times, right? We would. We would all just be sitting in the living room watching Brain Teaser. And Razu would be like, call them. We're going to call them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we literally called Brain Teaser. You get me? Yo. <laughs> Yo. Another thing why I wanted to speak to my siblings as well is that you know, when you do character work, character development in any way, you have to realize that people are different. Me and my siblings, we're all different. We're unique in our own way, but we all have different roles that we play, things that God's put in us. And actually, one of the things that my brother has is that in this very place is one of the very first times where I started to dream. I feel like those are the times like what I say, where Razi would be like, no, what's your dream? Like, what do you want to do? And we'd all be like, oh, I want to do this or I want to do that. To me, a character is not great if no one can relate to them, even villains. You know, there is a relatability even with villains that makes you realize, oh, I'm, I'm not far from thinking the way this person thinks or you know that draws us back or i'm not far from thinking like that that makes us go forward you know if you don't see yourself in any of the characters it's very hard to engage and that i want these characters that 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 will come out to not only have a relatability but i want you to see yourself in them whether good or bad and if it's bad it makes you change if it's good it makes you continue what you're doing the hope is that between week 20 and 25, I will have the first draft of the play done. And then I'm gonna be reaching out to people to read it, scrutinize it. Uh, for people I wanna go through it with, uh, might get some people and try to act it out, some, you know, some of the, the, the scenes, uh, see how it goes. But um, I am looking forward to it. Thank you guys for watching, this has been amazing. Um, thank you to my siblings, I love you guys. Charity Vara, Razi, thank you guys. Um, AC, that's my, that's my niece. Uh, Chichi, I'll see you guys. Thank you guys for watching. It's been get on with it. That's the joys of being pastor's kids. Yeah. Yeah, you'd, you'd get kicked out of the bed no, no, no. in a heartbeat if anyone comes. Yeah, anyway, so you have house, kids over. I yeah. remember the standards, yeah? When it yeah. came to dinner time. Yeah. Standard, standard. Was turn my plates and she lay new on the surface. <laughs> <laughs> this wow. Test. Yeah. And, or or before I said to you, I am not do because you had to go to. Bangalore said to take a nap. They had to buy it on the back from church. Yeah. And then they start cooking for the children who are going to uh, wake them up at least. You know, it was like, yeah. I'm a drummer. <laughs> <laughs>